Hey guys, welcome back. You know, if there was ever a video that I wish I could go back in time and remake, it'd be this one. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. And I present to you the best homemade fire starter that I found. Again. Alright, these go by a couple different names. Some people call them paraffin cotton balls, or wax cotton balls, or wax warmer cotton balls, because you need a wax warmer to make these. Uh, but the, the method of making these is really, really simple. Here I have a wax warmer that's very crude. It took me about five minutes to put this together. But all it is is a tea light candle. These have a little aluminum base on there. This was a dog food can. I've pulled open a little window there so that our candle can get some oxygen. And then to hold our wax, I have the bottom part of a soda can. Now the wax that I'm using is just regular paraffin wax. Uh, the actual brand name is Golf Wax if you want to get the same stuff that I'm using. Uh, and since this is clear, I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring so that you can actually see it on camera. And what you do is once that wax melts, you're going to take a cotton ball and saturate about half of the cotton ball in that melted wax and set it aside to dry. Now once it's dry and cool enough to handle, you're going to take some petroleum jelly and smear that on the top of the cotton ball that doesn't have the wax on it. That's going to keep that top section uh, water resistant. So whenever you go to light one of these, it works the same way as a Vaseline cotton ball. You just kind of fluff up the top there and then you can light it with anything, a ferro rod, a match, a lighter, and then it'll start wicking that uh, paraffin wax off of the bottom and you get a really tall, really nice, long-lasting flame at least twice as long as a regular Vaseline cotton ball would last and it really helps if you're trying to light up wet wood. And that's all there is to it. Let's get started. Alright, we've got our candle lit and our paraffin wax just now getting ready to melt. Alright, it's been about 20 minutes and our wax is melted. Now I tried to add in the food coloring and as it turns out food coloring does not mix with wax. But hey, that's okay. We're ready to move on to the next step. Alright, I've got my cotton ball here. I'm just gonna get about half of it down in there. It's gonna draw in a lot of that wax. There you go. Set it aside. Now these soak up the wax like a sponge. So you got to be careful not to let it soak up too much. Because if you do, you won't have enough there to act as a wick. That means it's going to be really, really difficult to get this thing lit. If you got to light one of these with like a ferro rod, it's going to be hard to do if you don't leave enough on the top there. Alright, so yeah, uh, food coloring is water-based, and water and wax don't mix. That's okay, because I found some red scented wax. So, for our next batch here, you'll actually be able to see it. Alright, hopefully this shows up a little bit better. There. Now you can see it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now you can see half of this is paraffin. 
and the other half is just a bare cotton ball. So what we're going to do with that is smear some petroleum jelly on that bare half there until that's saturated. And this is going to be like our wick. This petroleum jelly is just going to help keep it water resistant. Alright, so here they are. They're done. As you can see, they have wax on the bottom and petroleum jelly on the top. And these are ready to go in our pack. All we got to do is put them in a Ziploc bag or something else to keep them from getting all messed up. And I happen to have two volunteers right here. Now the one on the right is one of our waxed cotton balls and it turned out kind of funky. So it's going to get used in a comparison. And one I'm going to compare it to is a regular old Vaseline cotton ball. And this one is soaked very well in Vaseline. So we're going to burn both of these and see how they compare. Here we go. Start with this. There you go. And yeah. Start to time these. Alright. The Vaseline cotton ball is off to a strong start. here. Vaseline cotton ball is completely out. We're at six minutes. Our usable flame here. We are at 13 minutes 28 seconds. We'll say 1330. There you go. All right guys, so we have a pack of a dozen fire starters made and ready to go. And that's all the time that I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, thumbs up.